Not as encouraging news at CSU Pueblo, though, with their fall enrollment down 4.5%. News Science Laura Wilson joins us in our Pueblo studio. And Laura, this isn't a huge surprise for them there. Yeah, it really wasn't. The school saw several state and national trends that they predicted would impact their enrollment this fall. But the good news is it's given them time to put a plan together on how to improve those numbers for next year. CSU Pueblo's campus is a bit emptier this fall, down about 200 students compared to this time last year. You know, it wasn't unexpected. VP of Enrollment Chrissy Holliday says one early indicator was smaller graduating classes from the college's feeder schools. We also previously had had higher um, enrollment in classes that were graduating from here, so continuing enrollment was a little bit down from where we had projected as well. But while the campus braced for a smaller enrollment, they also also started planning for how to get those numbers back up, like changing their recruitment approach as well as improving the campus atmosphere for current students. Our new um, Oceato University Center will be opening later this year, and then our foundation has actually opened um, a brand new uh, tap house and restaurant nearby. How's the pizza? Which has already generated a lot of buzz in the short time it's been open. Every time I wear my shirt and I go back on campus, someone's always like, oh, you work there? That's so cool. All right, we're all set? Nikita Wint says the new tap house gives students a reason to stay close to campus when they're not in class. We had our first game about two weeks ago and just the turnout here alone was amazing. So I think that just having this here alone is it's really picking up lots of it's a great attraction for our school. And back on campus, the 4.5% drop-off hasn't seemed to affect students. I haven't really noticed. Some of them actually hoping it will be noticeable in the classroom this semester. You get more interaction with the professor. You get more interaction with uh, not just the staff, but your fellow students as well. You actually get to know them and see the progression with them. And CSU Pueblo says they're going to ramp up their recruitment efforts in Southern California. They tell me people there really seem to enjoy Pueblo and its climate, so that could have a positive impact on next year's enrollment numbers. Rob Elizabeth, back to you. Laura.